So today on my video blog, we're going to be unboxing the Merc Stealth keyboard. This is a Steel Series keyboard. It's a, a fairly premium gaming keyboard, and the reason for that that they bring is what they bring to the table is a unique gaming terrain layout. So what that means is they've got a whole section of this keyboard that is dedicated entirely to gaming keys. Okay, it has red, blue, or purple backlight, and let's see what other interesting features they have on the back. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, it supports simultaneous keystrokes like most gaming keyboards these days. And to be perfectly honest with you, the only reason I'm opening this thing is because I want to see it. <laughs> uh, the cameraman I have uh, substituting for the real cameraman today actually says that he's tried it. And it doesn't work for him because he uses some kind of like ancient old school way of gaming where he uses like the right and left mouse buttons to go forward and backwards and like AZ to strafe left and right. I was like, what? So it didn't work for him, but I think for someone who uses a more, well, okay, less traditional but more modern WASD layout, it might work. So it comes with a Steel Series sticker. Okay, there it is. It comes with a Steel Series uh, terms and conditions, which I can't imagine you could possibly care about. It comes with a Steel Series professional gaming gear. Oh, this is just a brochure of some of their other products. Okay, that's good. And then it comes with uh, download software. You know, I really like to see this instead of a disc, to be perfectly honest. Most people have the internet these days. You can go download the latest version of the software and or drivers. And uh, this is, oh, okay, this is like a manual, uh, how to use your Merc Stealth. So the Merc Stealth is kind of like the Merc, except that it has a backlight, and I think they've changed the aesthetic of it slightly. So before we look at the keyboard itself, why don't we just check out the cables that we have running out of the back here so I just got to get the zip tie off and here we go so we got one thick cable coming out of the Merc Stealth and that plugs into a USB port on your computer as well as your headphone and mic jacks on the back of your computer so what that means is that this keyboard does have support for a USB hub and then it also has support for you to plug your headset and well your headset into the keyboard itself that just means you're able to run a shorter wire as opposed to a lot of other keyboards which don't have that feature now you do have little stands and if i can get the cameraman to kind of get like a weird angle on this here from the side so you can see how much that elevates the keyboard versus running it just flat like that there you go. And then let's have a look at the gaming terrain because besides the gaming terrain, you've got a fairly bog standard layout here. Eh, okay tactile feedback on the keys, but basically what it comes down to is this part of the keyboard. So actually I'm just going, going to go ahead and put my hands here. So there's your WASD. There's your Q and E, so to speak, because they've got it sort of mapped out for you that way. And then you've got tab, caps lock. I'm not sure who uses caps lock for gaming, but uh, yeah, I find it gets in the way more than anything else. There's shift, control, so actually shift, shift forward. Actually, that's kind of neat. So the way they've mapped it out, basically, is such that you've got a similar layout to here, but it's supposed to be quite a bit more comfortable and more ergonomic to have your hand coming in at this angle. You've got far easier access to all of your number keys, so it means you're going to be able to reach all of your weapons far more easily, as well as access with your thumb to quite a few more keys than you'd normally have. So actually, it's kind of a pretty cool looking feature. I'd like the cameraman to just kind of have like a quick look at the keyboard overall. I don't see anything particularly stupid about the layout like every once in a while you'll see something like a shortened shift key or a short backspace key or something ridiculous like that doesn't have any of those mistakes and we'll just have a quick look at the back and thank you for checking out my video blog on the steel series merc stealth